Hello. Today we'll be exploring doing an in-place upgrade to Windows Server 2019 from a Windows Server 2012 R2 data center release. So this is one of the test scenarios that the Windows Insiders uh, program has suggested um, insiders try out. So I, I figured I'll give it a go on one of my Windows Server 2012 R2 system. So um, what we're looking at here, um, we're on a Windows Server 2012 R2 system. Um, that's currently joined to the, my domain. Um, it doesn't really have any particular roles or features installed on it. Um, it's, it's pretty much just serving as a, um, a base base box. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have already mounted the Windows Server 2019 ISO um, into the system, and this is um, preview build 17639. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Windows Explorer. And then we see we here have this D drive that's mounted. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my D drive. And I'm just going to go ahead and launch the setup. And I'm just going to minimize down these other windows here. Don't need those. Um, so here is giving me an option to download and install updates. It says it's recommended. Uh, for the purpose of this, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and click this not right now. And you have an option if you want to provide um, kind of like metrics and, and um, um, symmetry, um, well, not symmetry, but information about your installation process back to, to uh, Microsoft to make the product better and things like that. If you want to do that, you can check that box there. Um, for purposes of this, I, I won't check that. I'll just leave that unchecked. So go ahead and say next. Then it's gonna go ahead and do a few validation on my product. So uh, it looks like me in the error message, if that is a fail to validate the product key. Um, so, and I didn't provide a product key, so I don't really know what that means. So hit close and it looks like I'm just kicked back out to the, to the desktop. So yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, so obviously in my case, it seems like this setup process is failing. So let me just try that one more time. I'll try not right now. Go next, checking my PC. Yep, and it still failed again. So it's not liking something about my product key, apparently. Um, I don't know if that's referring to a product key that's for Windows Server 2019 or my current product key that I'm using for my 2012 R2. So in the case of my 2012 R2, I'm um, here is saying I am activated successfully. Um, I guess it, I can put in the key again. I want to change that, um, but it, it's apparently saying I'm already activated. So I'm not quite sure um, why that's failing. So go to hit, hit close. Let's hit setup again. And this time I'm going to allow it to download updates. So let's say maybe that will fix whatever problem I'm experiencing here. So I'm going to go ahead and download and install updates recommended. Click next. And that errored right out. Um, so in my case, I'm obviously 2012R2 in place upgrade is, is not working. Um, the, the error messages aren't really clear on, on why it's failing. Um, and like I can't really go any further in, in this this test. So uh, I guess I need to provide some feedback back to, back to Microsoft and let them know that, hey, um, in, in the, my case of my 2012 R2 data center server, I, I can't apparently do an in-place upgrade. And it's giving me some errors. Um, so one thing I'm curious about is that um, in the release notes for this build, for 20, Windows Server 2012 R2, data center in place upgrade it does says windows server 2019 r2 data center and when i initially saw that i assumed that might have been a misprint because windows server 2019 hasn't even came out yet and they're mentioning a, a r2 release so maybe it is they're they're planning an r2 release and maybe not to that 2019 r2 release comes out that you'll be able to do an in-place upgrade from 2012 r2 and that, that may explain why i'm getting these particular failures so i think it's, this is a, a good test um we'll, we'll um so video end up being a lot shorter than I expected um, since I'm obviously receiving failures here. Um, so I, I will plan to do another um, another scenario on this where we'll try to do uh, in-place upgrade from a Windows Server 2016 data center and see if we experience the same problems. Because um, if we don't, then that will kind of give um, um, maybe the it's not a misprint in the, in the release notes where they're saying Windows Server 2019 R2 um, is required. Um, to do in-place upgrade from Windows Server 2012 R2. So 
Um, hopefully this has been useful. Um, so obviously I ran into unexpected errors here, um, but um, I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.